And out a little across the 25 to the 27. That's on the return. The Browns take over first and 10. At their Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start with Hunt on the ground, and he powers his way up past the 30. J.J. Watt the one that gets him down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. It's a gain of four. Makes it third and two. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Pickup of six. Brings up second and four. A run for Nick Chubb. Still on his feet. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. What about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help the running game as well. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. On the ground, it's Chubb. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Ross Blacklock on the tackle. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Playing against a three-four front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of six there on first. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. Blanketed coverage by Houston. Makes it fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Justin Seibert on for the field goal. A 25. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. with a surprise, but it's a turnover on down. Well, there's two sides here. I guess you could pinpoint and look at the offense and say, oh, man, what a disaster. Hey, the defense, though, they came through. Preparation is the key to everything, and when you're on the defensive side of the ball and in special teams meetings, you prepare for plays like this, and in this case, they were actually able to win it. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 16, Watson. And he's able to get up here to the 26. 
Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. And That's a pretty Texans throw right there. That ball's down. in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. He'll run it. He's got the first down and more past midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 48-yard line. Pass complete from Watson to Aikens. And oh, he coughed it up. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you were able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Ball carrier. Bradley Roby, the quarterback, there to make the stop. A gain of five. Brings second and five now. Mayfield. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Rashard Higgins there to make the grab. And once again, the Browns are back in front. He puts this one through as the lead moves to 13-7. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Austin Seibert to kick off for Cleveland. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. DeAndre Carter returning it. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Carter on the return. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 20. Houston set to take over. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. 
Watson's throw going to be taken in by Johnson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone, blitz he's gonna win that battle just about every time first down on first down it's Watson he gets it left side to Johnson and he is out of bounds but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7 another nice gain that's now 30 yards between those last two plays another catch for him there on this drive Brandon and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up the first down so now on defense do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going looking in zone but it's incomplete brandon cooks the receiver he was going after but it'll be second and goal two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal again it's watson and he is gonna go down back at the 11 yard line now the texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, Watson. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. The kick by Fairbairn is good. But wait up now, a flag is down. If this is on the defense, they're gonna get the first. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to lose yardage. Not that it matters as the final seconds tick away. So we've hit. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Texans 10. Austin Seibert to kick off for Cleveland. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Here's Carter now on the return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Andre Carter on the return. The Texans take over first and 10. At their now own comes the Houston offense line. as they get set to take over here. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Now a dump off here complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Encroachment, defense. Oh, man, can't do that. 
Got a little antsy there from his Mike linebacker position. Partner, there's times you think you've timed up the quarterback's cadence. You think you've got a read on it. He might have thought it on that play. He was wrong. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Operating from the gun, Watson. And now Watson throws enough. Interception. Picked off near the 44.